Hey, how's it going? I know, it's been a while. <laughs> I wanted to make this video as a bit of an update, just kind of get you guys caught up on where I've been, what I've been up to, why I stopped uploading, what the future of the channel looks like, and to elicit some feedback. So I guess bottom line up front, if you don't care, uh, two things. One, I'm going to be uploading again, in which case you probably care because you got this video recommended to you and you clicked on it. And two, I would appreciate some comments on what you would like to see uploaded. Now this can be hyper-specific Rails tutorial. You know, how do I make a button on my website that calls Dean at two in the morning? Um, please don't, although I know I've just invited like 50 of those comments. Um, it can be just general Rails specific, like how do I lazy load stuff? You know, not necessarily a specific feature, but just like conceptually lazy loading might be a topic you'd like explored. It can be like language agnostic. Maybe you want to learn more JavaScript, uh, maybe because of stimulus and Rails, or just you want to learn JavaScript in general. .NET, Python, doesn't really matter. Flask, whatever, don't, don't care. Leave a comment, I'll consider it. It can also be just general software questions. I'm not a big leak code and interview prep channel person, but if it's something that you would like talked about, maybe you feel like there'd be some value for you in getting some of those interview prep style videos from me, then by all means, leave the comment and I'll consider it. Um, I just personally feel like when people go down the road of interview prep, they tend to become less genuine and I'm not really a fan of that just for my own sake. Uh, so those would not be the main style of video on the channel, I guess is what, what I'm getting at. Um, or, you know, it, it, from my perspective, I think where my skill set shines most these days is probably like, how do you communicate in your job or how do you just communicate in general? How do you talk to your clients, your customers, etc.? cetera? Uh, that's an area where I think I could give some interesting and unique insights. So if that's something you want to see, just let me know. Uh, I'm just trying to give you guys some ideas, right? But okay, where have I been? Um, about a year ago, I started a new job. This is actually last December. From then, I've been incredibly busy. I still have my like core set of responsibilities, but that has now ballooned into multiple rings around it as the responsibilities continue to grow. And I do have to prioritize that over the channel. Now, I'm still swamped, but I've learned that there's very small amounts of time that I can peel off here and there. And based on how I have everything time boxed right now, I think I can use that to start uploading again. That said, um, there's other reasons why I wasn't uploading. To be frank, I got a little bit burned out. There's only so many times that I can do the same, how to make a Rails nav bar tutorial or how to do X, Y, or Z in Rails. I feel like at a certain point, um, you know, it just, it it started to wear on me. I'd sit here for hours on end trying to come up with some some new type of idea. Uh, and then, you know, the more niche you get with your ideas like that, the fewer viewers you get, right? And then the stuff that ends up doing well just ends up being generic speed run or super intro level stuff. Um, I feel like when I first started the channel back in like 2017 or whenever, uh, my initial goal was everything's outdated. It would be nice if we could have up-to-date tutorials for Rails. And I feel like since then, um, you know, the Rails community as a whole has grown. There's plenty of new creators. There's more people making tutorials than ever before, really. Uh, and I feel like a lot of them have managed to fill some of those gaps that I've left. And for that, I'm grateful. Uh, so, you know, I'm not, I'm not super concerned if I sort of um, you know, cut down on the Rails content and don't do what I did in like 23 or 22 when I did like a video a day for a year uh, because that was quite frankly way too, way too much. I mean, I lost all sense of anything that wasn't YouTube. <laughs> it was it was working on YouTube and then it was doing work on the side and that was basically 16 hours of my day. I mean, we're talking, you'd wake up at like four in the morning and you'd go until sometimes four in the morning. Um, so yeah, that got a little bit burned out, but I think we're in a good spot now where I can start making some Rails content again and maybe mix in some other stuff so that I can keep it fresh because at the end of the day, I need to be interested in what I'm doing uh, to make sure that I'm giving you guys what, what, you, what you need, right? Now that aside, there's, you know, some other stuff like some family medical issues and stuff that came up this year. 
which has contributed to the ongoing gray hair epidemic. Um, but I think, you know, all that stress aside, this was always my outlet. It was kind of a place for me to post these videos, to get inspired, to see, you know, kind of a path forward for myself. Uh, I think it's helped me tremendously professionally. I think it'll continue to help me. So it's something that I would like to do regularly. Um, you know, I just like it to be a bit more of a dialogue moving forward. All of that aside, I think here's kind of where I'm at. Uh, if you could leave some comments down below for some video ideas, that would be incredibly helpful. Uh, in general, I always appreciate the comments from the regulars because you guys are very positive people. You're always a joy to interact with. Uh, from my own perspective, I guess, for your perspective, really. Um, that's not everyone who engages with me online. Uh, you know, for every positive comment that you receive on a video, there's like five bad actors who leave very, very, very mean DMs or send emails. <laughs> so for what it's worth, it does mean a lot when you guys reach out and you say, hey, you know, you, you helped me in this specific scenario. Uh, you know, I've had people say that they, you know, they were underpaid working in like the medical field in, in a country and they switched over to rails and that caused them to you know 10x their salary and they attribute some of that to my videos and for that i'm i'm so happy to hear that that always that makes my week when i when i read those messages um that's just not every message you get a lot of them are like wow you suggested firebase because someone asked how to use firebase and rails you should go eh, yourself like that's mm, i could live without those but I guess that's always going to be the nature of being on the internet. Um, so yeah, if you could leave the comments, I would appreciate that. Uh, it always helps me kind of, you know, keep perspective. <laughs> it can be a little hard sometimes. Um, wasn't really expecting to get that into it, but whatever. Uh, aside from that, I'll also have a link to the Discord server. That way we can actually talk on the Discord server. Now I do have like one request. In the past, I have tried to answer all the questions that I get. Uh, you know, people DM me questions, and often this would result in three or four days worth of me trying my hardest to fix whatever problem you were running into. And the number of times that I found out that this was someone who was like in a class and they just weren't doing their homework and they just came to me, it's it's too high. So like. It, Try and balance out the, hey, can you do all of my job for me requests with just a, hey, how's it going occasionally? I don't know if that's, I don't know if I feel like I'm crying right now, but you know, there, it was a little overwhelming for a minute there when I was uploading like every day and then I would get in my Discord DMs and there'd be someone who's like, hey, so hypothetically, if I had to make a hangman application, how would I do that? And I'd go, well, you should start with this. And then they'd send me a link to their GitHub repo and they would go, okay, yeah, so that's due on Monday. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean it's due on Monday? What do you mean it's due? <laughs> I thought we were just building this for fun. It's a homework assignment. But yeah, I think at this point, I'm mostly just rambling and, and venting. Um, so yeah, if you could click the links, leave the comments, that'd be great. I'm glad to be back. Hopefully you'll see some regular uploads from me moving forward. Uh, and hopefully we can go on to do great things. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.